Hey guys, I'm Matt Ed Louie and welcome to my video. So, I'm bringing you something really, I guess, different. I've never done anything like this before. In fact, I've, I had a look earlier on YouTube and I couldn't really find anyone else that had done a sim similar sort of thing. But I wanted to tell my personal story or my personal history with YouTube. Now, this isn't just, it, it's not just from me making videos. I'm talking about from my first experience to to YouTube and to up until how I view it now and what what it's like now and just just going to talk to you guys about how I, how I first came into contact with YouTube and how it grew and how I eventually developed an obsession and then started making videos myself. Um, shouldn't, shouldn't be too long, probably about 10-15 minutes but yeah let's kick it off right now. So I'm going to hit straight in my first experience of YouTube, like I can remember the first YouTube video I ever watched was Charlie the Unicorn. Now, one of my friends showed it me. Uh, obviously, you've probably seen it by now. If you haven't, then I don't know what's wrong with you. But it's the, it's the thing where the unicorn called Charlie gets taken to Candy Mountain by the other unicorns and loads of weird stuff happens in it. It was just a, like, I've never seen anything like it in terms of sort of comedy. It was just really weird and random and like, I'd seen sort of cartoons and stuff like that, but it was just something else. And the fact that it wasn't very long as well, it was like, wow, someone's done all this and it's this cool in this like short length of like, I think their video's only like three or four minutes long, something like that. Oh, yeah. What happened? Oh, they took my freaking kidney! Um, and yeah, that's that's one of the first thing. Then after that, I watched um, stuff like Harry Potter Puppet Pals. Have you ever seen that? Like the mysterious ticking noise. Um, they did. There's like a um, a version of it, a version of Nickelback Rockstar, which they did using someone sort of put pictures of different. Um, Different characters. Uh, they did that for the eBay, the eBay song, obviously a parody of the Battery Boys song, and um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Wizard swears and all the stuff that Harry Potter fucking powers made famous and did within itself. I found the source of the ticking. It's a pipe bomb. Yay! Yeah. Um, but before, before those sort of videos that I watched on YouTube, before I got shown him by my friend. Videos were sort of these kind of videos, like viral videos. They were well, I, I'd never sort of seen them on on their actual like, internet side. I'd only seen them sort of would get videos. People would have them on their phones, and then they'd sort of um, send them to each other via Bluetooth and that sort of thing, um, and text them and stuff that sort of thing. And then you'd watch that. It was the um, the one of a dog. I think it's saying hello or something like that. It's, yeah, it's like an edit of video of, of that. And that was one one that was going around um, before I discovered YouTube. But then after that, it was just like bang, this thing is incredible. You can just put whatever video you want on it within reason, and people can watch it and they share. It. And I mean, back then I had no sort of grasp of the fact that you could ever sort of make money off it or ever sort of become sort of a star of it. I thought you'd just sort of make a video and your video would be funny but no one would really care who you actually were because everyone sort of used like fake, had like nicknames and sort of fake personas and that sort of thing that they would have. Um, and then I came across Shane Dawson. He was probably the first actual sort of YouTuber, I'll put that in sort of quotation marks because I'm not where I guess it's because technically if you make YouTube videos you're a YouTuber but by this I mean sort of the, the sort of the famous celebrity style YouTuber who built up a, a big following because of the kind of videos that they made as a person and Shane Dawson honestly is still one of the funniest people on YouTube today and just back and if you go some of his old videos were so amazing like the, and there's one called Pissed Off where he's basically just he's just talking about things that piss him off and I think that features um, Destry from Cap'n Des Des if you've ever seen that channel or seen that guy you'll you'll probably know that he was in that it was very early on um, and that's such a funny it's just such a good video um, another personal favorite of mine is the um, the Sarah Palin song which was a parody of um, Don't Trust Me from um, 303 uh, but he just does it, it's just great, he basically just centers it around Sarah Palin um, and stuff like that rather than 
who was the, the fictional woman that was obviously mentioned in the real song. To ever watch National Treasure. Okay, A, Nicolas Cage, enough said. And B, the events are completely random. The Bill of Rights was signed by 13 members. 13 times two is 26. The number of games the Lakers lost in 1933. 1933 divided by the number of movies that are better than this means that we have to go meet a midget in South Carolina named Thornton. Let's go! From that, I mean, Shane Dawson is one of the like, first YouTubers that said. Um, I mean, I, d I don't really remember too many people after that until I think I was in. I remember it quite well. I was in year ten, I was in IT, and I was on YouTube, sort of browsing through the homepage, just seeing if there was any interesting videos or anything like that. Just something. But I was looking for music more than anything. Just got something on while I do my work. And I saw this guy and it was like, KSI plays, but it was like, KSI Eligibility HD plays The Impossible Game. Now, I'd played The Impossible Game, we played it, I think I played it in like year 7 and 8. That's, um, so I thought, you know what, I know what this, I know what this game is, I wonder, what, I wonder how this person finds it, obviously playing it for the first time, they've got no idea what, what's going on, then they're going to really struggle with this really weird and the answers a lot of the time don't make any sense at all and honestly when I was watching that video I was, I was trying not to laugh because obviously I, was sort of, I didn't want to let the teacher know that I was that I was on YouTube instead of doing my work which I should have been doing um, but I just couldn't help it like I was just absolutely pissing myself over this guy these two guys obviously it's KSI and Deji um, but these two these two these two lads were absolutely hilarious just everything they did just it just I couldn't just, I couldn't stop laughing and um, yeah somehow I didn't actually get in any trouble for um, going on YouTube teaching never noticed or maybe he did maybe he just didn't care I don't know but um, yeah I discovered KSI and then um, that's when the obsession with YouTube I'd religiously watch all of KSI's normal videos I, I found out about that he had a FIFA channel and then I carried on watching his sort of let's play games which he did with Deji. Um, and then it sort of from there it grew to other FIFA and gaming YouTubers, you know, the likes of A9 Skills and the Pemphez at the time, who I don't really like anymore, but that's that's a story for another day. You can probably, probably find it on my Twitter if you're really interested. Just go search my username and the Pemphez's username and you'll see it was some weird, stupid thing, but um, he ended up blocking me on Twitter, which is quite funny. That was before I even started making YouTube videos. Um, the other sort of guys are Bates and. Um, you had um, Ali A with uh, Call of Duty. Uh, it was probably back when he was doing, I think, when Modern Warfare 3 was out. It was either Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2, one of those. Uh, but yeah, I really got into them and then it just kind of grew from there. And I keep, kept watching these guys and kept watching them. And I started watching other types of videos, you know, like your vloggers and you saw those kind of people. Um, obviously, I eventually came to PewDiePie as well, and that was when he was he was quite big, but he wasn't as big as he is now. He, he still had less subscribers than Smosh, who were the number one channel at the time. Also, got into them quite a lot as well um, around the time that I found KSI because I was just going through YouTube trying to find as many sort of YouTubers, and then I came to the decision that hey, I, I want to do this for myself. I want to give it a go. I want to eventually break into gaming, but I didn't have sort of the the resources at the time sort of thing, I literally only had a camera and a computer um, I didn't have like an Elgato like I have now um, didn't have a PS4, still back on PS3 and didn't have a, didn't have a, a TV or my games console in my actual bedroom so it was just, and also didn't have a laptop or anything like that as well um, so it's a bit of a challenge to do, do anything but I started off vlogging it kind of, kind of went through and then I, I, I kind of stopped vlogging um, I kind of don't really do that much anymore. I should really try and do something over the summer. I want to try and do quite a few. But speaking of that, I've actually got exams, like uni exams. And I've got one next week and then I've got one the week after. So basically, my last exam is on the 9th of May. So what I'm planning to do is this make this my last um, YouTube video. I'll um, upload this and then I'm done until but it's going to be the 10th of May because that's when Uncharted 4 comes out and that is a game that I'm going to be sort of just completely smashing out do sort of walk through sort of, sort of things for you guys and hopefully you'll enjoy my experience and that 
Um, it's going to be a, going to be a wild ride experience and everything first standard. Depending on what happens, you may see me shed a tear. You might. I want to face cam it all so you can see my the emotion pour out of me when one of the main characters dies. And I know they're going to die, and I don't know which one, but whoever it's going to be, it's still going to freaking break my heart. So you're going to get to experience that. But yeah. Um, now with YouTube, I make videos. Like obviously, you, you can watch. You're watching this video, so obviously I do make videos. Um, and I, I watch YouTube every day. I mean, there's so many people I've subscribed to now. I mean, to list them all um, would be just be crazy. But ones that I'm particularly enjoying at the minute is Redmen TV, the uh, Liverpool fan channel. Um, I'm enjoying KSI. He started to upload quite a lot more frequently than he has been in the last sort of six months or so. Um, I've also been watching Gamer Ranks and Scream Rant as well as What Culture. So yeah, if you, if you find any of uh, any of those to sound interesting, then go check them out. But honestly, there's so many amazing YouTubers, and I'm I'm just proud to be part of this community. Like I know I'm not very big on it, and who knows, maybe one day I will be. But I'm I'm quite proud. I'm just proud of the 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 community in, in general I mean there's a few youtubers that uh, have done kind of stupid things you know you sand peppers and that sort of thing um, and uh, there's all this 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 drama alert channel that's come out that's trying to it, it just any time a youtuber does something slightly wrong they like blow it out of proportion and it's just completely stupid and uh, but if they could they if they're making videos they can make I say let them make videos people watch it people watch it um, but yeah, there's been so many YouTubers I've ranted about that I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon because honestly, it's not really something that I really care about because at the end of the day, I'm such a low-level YouTuber that I'm not going to be on drama alert. And if I am, then it's probably because I messed up. And if you watch KSI's video about it, just do what KSI does. Don't fuck up. And if you do fuck up, we're only human. As long as it's not something completely crazy. Not, as long as you haven't murdered somebody. As long as you're not the next Jimmy Savile, then you've got nothing to worry about with that. But yeah, hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been a nice sort of trip down memory lane for me. I've quite enjoyed reminiscing, I guess. Um, but yeah, leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment on what your first experience is with YouTube and what do you think of YouTube today. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you're new. Don't want to miss any of my videos, especially with my Uncharted 4 playthrough coming up. Do not want you to miss that, so click that button. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.